Ah, don't stone me. Jeez, oh my, I almost got stoned there. And not like I almost smoked some weed. Uh, it's part seven of, gotta wait for this to turn green, God of War, let's play, in the last recording session I'm gonna do for the night, gotta do a few of these ahead of time, as you know, because I got a lot of, actually, I got a lot of shit coming up, so, that and I gotta do some more Ryan on gamings, so I gotta record a lot of those, I'm gonna need time to edit those, so I wanna get some of these out of the way first, because again, let's plays are very easy to do for me, so that's why I do them ahead of time like the way I do them. Oh, can I open this? What is inside of here? Please tell me it's yup. Yup. Oh, no. I thought it was a chest. It's just a fucking box. Um, but actually, I need it for over there. Yeah, this makes a whole lot of sense. You gotta push it for... Actually, there's a chest behind it. My God. Oh, what a time to be alive. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I was gonna say, what a time to be alive, but it's really just a regular... Oh, Jesus, a regular health chest, or magic chest, depending on what you really need. Oh, come on, man, what a, come on. Like, really? Like, dude, did I really need to put up with this today? Today of all days, I'm busy, all right? I have shit to do. Also, I don't want to break my brand new companion cube. Yeah, it's a little, you know, it's a little old, you know, it's not like these new, new god-fangled companion cubes that are so polygonally designed and come with little icons on them that are represent representative of, of being companions to you. Like, no, it's a little old-fashioned, but you know what, it gets the job done. It's here for me, it's here with me, and it's showing me affection that, quite frankly, no other living uh, being on this planet has ever done, so that's a little shallow about my life. Or more so Kratos' life. Oh, I am really digging into my nose right now. It's awesome that you guys get to see that now. I'm so happy I get to share these moments with you. These guys are, like, really up my ass right now, and I can't get them away from me, quite frankly. Dude, stop, man. Stop, dude. I'm trying to have a good time here. What's going on, dudes? Actually... Uh, I got my 102nd Platinum Trophy now. It was Cat Lateral Damage, which is a ridiculous PSN game. That was a PC game first a long time ago. And it's a, this game basically where you just play as a cat and you just knock over shit on, you know, like shelves. Like you just walk around a house or other weird bonus levels and you just knock over shit and you're just a cat, and you're just being annoying, and that was my, and that game is like, it's like $10 on PSN, it was like 8 bucks for PlayStation uh, Plus members, do these guys just keep coming, or do they f ever fuck off, because I can't get this thing even remotely close to where I need to be, um, yeah, it was, so it's on PSN, it's a small PSN game, it does come with a platinum trophy, uh, and it only, the platinum only took about, like, five and a half hours total game time, it was one. It's one of those games where I legitimately wanted to play it. By the way, this wasn't me trying to get a, like an extra platinum on the cheap or whatever. Like I legitimately thought it was cute and I, like I wanted to try it. it looked funny, um, so like I started playing it. I was like, oh yeah, this is really fun. But it's one of those games where you're done with it like after an hour, if that, maybe even less. So and then, and I was like, uh, you know, so I looked at the trophy guide or whatever, and I'm like, oh okay, well at least it's a decent platinum or a doable platinum. So it was nothing difficult or anything. But that's the thing. You look at it, and, you know, the first hour of the game, not even, you're like, I ah, don't want to play this for any longer now. Like, you're already kind of done with it after 40 minutes. Um, and now it's like, oh, shit, now i got to play it for another fucking f five hours, basically, to get the platinum. And it was just, like, way too tedious and way too not worth it, basically. Um, but it was, uh, it was fine. Ah, damn it. Come on, for fuck's sake. I, yeah, I'm fully convinced now that they just keep coming. Holy fuck. Seriously, dude. Fuck, damn it. 
That was so not worth it. Please don't show up. Please don't have another guy show up. Holy shit. Thank Jesus. That was so fucking annoying. Uh, anyway, yeah, it was like, it was fine. Just like, it's, again, it's just one of those games like, oh my god, I do not want to play this for another five hours. Because it's just like so tease. It's the same motion over and over again, just knocking shit over. Um, but yeah, it had a platinum. I was like, wow, really? This game has a platinum, but games like Firewatch didn't? I'll, also, I finally played Firewatch. I really enjoyed that game. For some reason, there was like a lot of people like did not like that game. Like I was on that um, what the Weapon Wheel podcast with Broken Games HD and like all those other dudes. And I was like, yeah, I want to play Firewatch. And they had like all of them just unanimously unanimously hated on hated on. I didn't ask them, but I'm like, what the fuck? Why do they like this? Jesus, was like, ridiculous, dude. I thought it was pretty interesting. It was definitely a compelling game. Maybe, I don't know, I, I've listened to their previous shows or anything. Maybe they have a problem with the fact that it's one of those typical walking around games where you're not doing much and you're really just listening to, you know, listening to a story or whatever. I always liked shit like that, so that's why I, you know, games like that really speak to me. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I was just like, whoa, geez, there's a lot of hate for this game. Uh, I liked it. I liked it a lot. The ending, I was hoping for, like, a bigger, like, payoff, I guess. Uh, but either way, it was still fine. Um, this is a cutscene right now. But it's like a one of those gameplay cutscenes, so it's not like the really highly detailed cutscenes like last part, or was it the part before it? But there was like a lot of those really good detailed cutscenes, kind of PlayStation 2 cutscenes where you're like, whoa, this is really good looking. Like remember when Final Fantasy X came out on PlayStation 2, and it was like the first Final Fantasy game that had like all this like really big shit and and you know like this beautiful gameplay and um, even more so those super highly detailed beautiful cutscenes. And you were just like, your mind was just blown. You're like, holy shit, this looks incredible. Like, actually, I'm realizing the audio is still pretty loud from the last part when I had to listen for these sirens. Um, yeah, that was like really, uh, can you remember that? Like, oh, th th dude, those were the times, man. I, w I couldn't wait for those cutscenes in, like, Final Fantasy or any other PlayStation 2 game that had those super highly detailed, like, pre rendered cutscenes. I'm just like, oh, dude, I can't wait to see. Oh my god, that looks amazing! No way! Like, wow, looks so cool! But at the same time, it was also a pretty jarring experience because then you get to the gameplay and it looks absolutely nothing even remotely close to it. Um, especially, if, you know, in games like Final Fantasy X, like, you'd have this super amazingly detailed, like, and they were super short, too, that's the thing. Like, they, these cutscenes are by no means, any, like, long, so it only lasts, like, maybe 40 or so seconds, and then I get back to, like, the gameplay, which looks even, like, look, that looks nothing like what they just showed you. But you're also kind of in the back of your mind thinking, like, ah, oh, dude, I can't wait till the future of video games is that all the time, where games look like that all the time. It's still pretty much impossible for games to look like that all the time, but, man, they are getting pretty fucking good looking nowadays. Um absolutely gorgeous now it's time to blow the horn and get this chronos dude over here yeah dude look at him he's massive he looks small right now he's actually pretty big check this out i think a pre-rendered cutscene thing he's coming up right now isn't it are these pre-rendered i would assume they are the cutscenes oh no it's just a regular gameplay cutscene oh, we're getting that icon a lot too i don't I'm not just noticing any big difference, really. Crack my knuckles, by the way. Kronos, the last of the mighty titans, emerged from the desert sands. On his back, Pandora's temple awaited, massive and patient, ready to challenge all who went in search of its guarded treasure. He's just like what like what a guy, you know, carrying this thing on his back. Not For three days, Kratos climbed really the sheer walls it. of the mountain, 
He knew he would either recover Pandora's box or perish inside the cursed temple, never to return to the world of man. Just like that guy. Tons of dead bodies around here. You know why? Do you know why? I know why. This is, this is a big temple with lots of booby traps. Lots of stuff that's trying to kill you. Ooh, I got my jammies ready after this. I think I'm gonna go to bed and get some sleepy times. But I'm gonna save my game first. You know, the first time I ever saved a game and. Ooh, maybe it is having some trouble now. PlayStation Now. Oh, there we go. The first time I ever saved a game and it had the, you know, would you like to overwrite thing. I did not understand that concept. I actually very specifically remember this when I was a kid. I saved a game or whatever that said if I would like to overwrite it. Don't remember the game. Don't remember. Like, all I remember is I was absolutely dumbfounded by that question. Like, this is going to, like, warning, this is going to overwrite the file. And I was like, what? What does that mean? Like, I had no fucking clue. Of course, I was super young and I'm like you know mildly handicapped because i'm stupid um but i just did not understand that concept it was like overwrite file and like what what does that mean i had my grandparents read it to me my mom read it i was like what does this mean and they didn't have any idea about video games or like they're like i don't know what this means what's at all so like that didn't help me either I had no clue. And I was, like, deathly afraid of it, too, because I was like, oh, my God, what what's going to happen if I hit yes? What if I say no? Like, what's going to happen? Like, I didn't, I was just like, oh, my God. Yeah, this dude up here. Got to get up here at some point. And he's like, yeah, dude, I just fucking burned these bodies. I don't know how you get to that guy, though. I think you have to get to him later. You'll get to him later, yeah. After this gets opened or whatever. I don't know, or maybe you come out the other way. I don't remember. Let's just figure it out. Together. You and me. A team effort. Yeah, I think you go, like, under it first. And then, yeah, there's some big guys are going to spawn, I think. If I remember correctly. Which I often do. Ooh. Huh. I keep yawning. This is not good. It's not good, people. I can't keep yawning like this. I mean, honestly, how much fucking strength do you think that would take to pull all this out? Those giant pieces of stone. Dude, you've got to be jacked to be able to pull this thing out. There we go, I made it to this guy. So, you think you can conquer the Temple of the Gods, do you? It's never been done, you know. Sooner or later, the harpies will bring what's left of you back for me to burn. The gods hid Pandora's box in here, so no mortal would ever claim its power. And yet, year after year, I open the gate for more and more soldiers and place more and more bodies on these pyres. If I were you, I'd leave now. But I can see you are determined. Very well. May the gods grant you strength to conquer the perils that lay before you. Good luck, Spartan. You don't gotta be so shitty about it, dude. Like how this guy's basically like half dead too, and he's just like, "Yeah, I got go." That's what he said. <laughs> I was just yelling. I was actually gonna try to say something, but the yelling just like overtook it. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to shock you guys, and I'm just going to sh shock you guys, and I'm just going to. Sh Shock you guys, and you're still alive. So I'm gonna start chopping you guys. I'm gonna start. Actually, I could rage a Sparta, you guys. 
Oh yeah. Oh my. Oh, okay. Well, now I just wasted my fucking rage spark. Oh, there's another one. Sweet. Dude, he can't even fucking stop me. I'm just going ham on it. You can't stop it prematurely to save it either. Yeah, it's like it's like Dark Jack and Jack and Dexter. It keeps going. Uh, all right, let's do this, dude. Yeah, I think we're, like, pretty far in the game. Also, I mean, there's a judgment where it's, like, you still have these two open slots. And I legitimately cannot remember what the hell they were. So, obviously, there's still a decent portion of the game left. So, I don't know if I'd say, like, maybe this is, like, the halfway point. Maybe this is, like, you know, the two-thirds point. I still think it's, like, one-third of the game. But we shall see. Ooh, lots of new health. And we are, like, fucking four Phoenix Feathers behind or something, I think, so. It's kind of shitty. Actually, let's see. Oh, no. Wait, true. That's not, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Actually, uh, yeah, let's open this. Yup. Yup, I can hear it. There we go. But see, the whole thing about Pan the, the the Pandora Temple thing is that it's very much so still like a more of a puzzle aspect than anything else. There's a lot of puzzly stuff to this. So, it's like that whole rotating room section that you kind of are walking around the whole time, really. Um, that doesn't become really obvious that that's like a puzzle until like you get even like a little bit further. These guys, again, I, I really don't like these people whatsoever. I'm getting lots of text messages. Oh, I'm like looking. I'm like, where's my phone? I just realized I had to put it on a charger. That's another thing that's really fucking bothering me recently. For some goddamn reason, out of nowhere, my iPhone is now incredibly picky with how it can get charged and how it's receiving a charge. Like anytime I put it, when I dock it via lightning or whatever, anytime I connect it, it is extremely fussy about how it will receive a charge. Just like. It only takes it a certain way. Like I have to keep fiddling with the um, the lightning port and the the connector for it, the the contact points to finally accept the, like a charge. And if I you know keep it in my car or something, or just like if I just dock it near my computer, I have to angle it just right so that it will actually accept a charge. And if I'm like for example, if I'm driving or something, um, and I like hit a bumpy road or something, it just boom immediately like. Uh, cuts off or whatever and it's not charging anymore and it's even more annoying because with my car i got my phone connected via bluetooth but if it's if it's hardwired to the car then it then the car transfers it to like it considers it as like ipod audio so then it switches off of bluetooth and every time it switches off of bluetooth or switches to, to switches anytime it switches between the two bluetooth or ipod um there's obviously a, a delay where the music cuts off or whatever it is that i'm listening to and it's you know, just annoying because every time I'll, I'll be fucking driving now and this this charge will get this this magic little point of contact will get lost when I'm charging and then my shit cuts off. But then it will like I'll immediately like reconnect it goes back on, but then it connects right back off. Like, God damn it. What the hell is going on? It's so fucking annoying. I don't know how this happened, by the way. Just just this problem just started to crop up. Um Maybe there was like maybe I had like uh, like water exposure or something, Mo too much moisture exposure to like contact points on the uh, connector. I like I don't know. I have no clue why it's not working the way it's supposed to be working. But and I'm very good with like phone ownership and specifically iPhones. But I've owned iPhones since 2008. Uh, so what? That's uh, f almost fucking eight years now, basically. But I've owned iPhones for a very long time. I've never cracked the screen. Um, I've only dropped them a handful of times. Like I'm very good with you know smartphone ownership and i don't know i just uh i don't know where this problem just sort of cropped up i, I have no I fucking clue why it's doing it it's really fucking annoying um so now i'll have to probably you know wait to get this remedied until i buy a new phone and i won't be buying a new phone until well i mean I, my phone I don't, i've always bought my phones off contract so i you know i pay full price for these phones so it's not gonna happen until I pay full price for a whole brand new phone, and I don't have Apple Care or anything, um, which I never justified justified needing because I never break my phones. So it's, I'm just gonna have to deal with it until 
I buy a new phone. And the thing is, I you I usually upgrade on the new phone cycle, so it's like, oh, iPhone 7 is going to be probably released in what September, September or something. So it's not that that long that I have to deal with this. But the thing is, like, I don't even know if I'm going to want iPhone 7. Like the the current rumors for iPhone 7 aren't necessarily very compelling. There's really not a whole lot of drastic changes. It's the whole reason why I'm on the cycle that uh, upgrades like the phone completely. Uh, I don't think I can even... Yeah, that, that's that's an upgrade I gotta get later to, to actually dive underwater or something, isn't it? Um, that's the whole reason why I'm on the uh, the the up, that upgrade cycle. I say upgrade cycle, by the way. I'm, I'm still, like, off contract, but I buy new phones whenever Apple does a actual chrono number chronological update to their phone and do, like, a massive redesign or something. So, I've had iPhone 3G. I actually skipped all the 4, the 4 and 4S. Um, iPhone 5 and now iPhone 6, and then I'm I, naturally I would get iPhone 7 but I again from the rumors there's just like nothing there's, there's nothing compelling about iPhone 7 um, of course the, the I, you know, iPhone 7 is not official in any way shape or form so I won't know until we actually see it but the, the like the like there's like pictures of you know the like the the shell for iPhone 7 and it's the exact same as the iPhone 6 and 6s and they just got rid of the um oh this already fucking stopped or oh i gotta go out there and rotate the other thing um or no it's staying like that okay um yeah it's the exact same shell as uh oh it stopped again why why are you doing that why are you stopping see i don't i see i don't remember this part maybe it's not gonna stay like that because i gotta move something else or whatever Gotta rotate the thing. Yeah, I gotta like, I gotta change it or something. Yeah, it looks completely the same. Like, at least give me a new phone design or something. All they did was get rid of the uh, the uh, antenna bands. Apparently, got all rumor. The door seems to be locked. There is a skull shaped hollow in the door. So now I gotta move this thing until I get a new little section I can walk through. Because that light piercing thing has to go all the way through, even into that little chamber. That's like a whole other section we got to get into. Uh, here we go. Here's something. Let's go in here. Don't know what's in here. We'll find out though. Carvings of the muses. The Oh, yeah, this is the muse section, the muses thing. There's two muses in the game. You can go back there and put them back, I think, or something. Don't remember. Don't fucking remember. Let's keep going. We're not going to be getting those, obviously. We're not doing a platinum playthrough or anything like that. We're not getting everything. We're just here for the ride. A good ride, by the way. It's a really enjoyable ride. The kind of, the kind of ride where... You're, it's late at night with your friend. You're just like, hey, what are you doing? Nothing. Oh, cool. Let's just go for a drive. And then you're driving. You're just talking about life. You're sharing life experiences and stories. And it's just a wonderful time. I love nights like those. I gotta have some more nights like those in my life. What's this? Artemis. Kratos, the gods demand more of you. You have learned to use the blades of chaos well, but they alone will not carry you to the end of your task. I offer you the very blade I used to slay a titan. Take this gift and use it to complete your quest. Take this weapon, Kratos. Take this power and use it to defeat your enemy. Yeah, the uh, Blade of Artemis. Okay, that was, uh, that's one of them. Select the Blade of Artemis on and off by holding on and R1. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, she just gives it to me. You can just start using whatever. We ain't gonna use it, though. I like the Blades of Chaos. That one, they just kind of, like, gave it to you. Just like, here, here you go. If you want to use it, use it. If you don't want to use it, then don't use it. Kind of like the, um, that one weapon in God of War 3 that, uh, Hephaestus makes for you. The electrical green thing. Like, I didn't, you know, I didn't end up using those. That's what I liked about, um, God of War Ascension, actually, is that they went away with, like, giving you brand new weapons that you, like, never end up using, and they just give you different forms of, like, the, the main blades. 
Like, that made way more sense, because then you could switch the, like, I, I actually hardly remember or got a War Ascension, because I only played through it one time, actually. I actually have to go back and still get a Platinum Trophy in that game, I know, disappointing. Um, but... I believe they were, like, elemental in a sense that when you switch to, like, a certain version of the, the blades, um, it worked better against certain enemies and shit like that. Like, that made way more sense to me. That's actually one of the things I liked about God of War Ascension a lot. I was like, that way, that is, makes way more sense, because God of War typically has, like, all these extra weapons where it's like, you really don't find yourself using them, you just stick to the main blades. Um, ah, don't stone me! Jeez, oh my, I almost got stoned there. And not like I almost smoked some weed. Like, I just almost got stoned by these... Dude, there's, like, so many of them. My God. Guys, chill. Holy Murphy. I'm trying to... I gotta pay attention here. I don't want to get fucking... I don't want to fucking kill it. That's permadeath, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not about that right now. Alright, there's one down. And another one's back, apparently. That's great news. Ah! 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 Stop! Bitch! Dude, the, um, what do you call it? The, um... Medu the Medusas in God of War 3 and uh, Ascension are so fucking good looking. Not like I'm attracted to them. Like, graphically, they look unbelievably beautiful. I still have God of War 3 PlayStation 4 that I bought. Uh, and I, I I haven't played that one yet. I still want to play that. It probably looks so fucking good. Not amazing. As in, like, the, the jump from the, the... It's just a straight port from the PlayStation 3, so it's just a resolution and frame rate bump. So... Or is it a frame rate bump, or is it not? I don't know. Either way, um, obviously it probably looks better, but not drastically better. But the thing is, God of War 3, even on PlayStation 3, still looks unbelievably fantastic. That game is, like, one of the best-looking video games ever made. Still, PlayStation 3. That game looks so fucking good. I don't know what's in here. Uh, another Medusa, that's what's in here. I shouldn't have spoke so soon. I need this for something, I don't remember what. I gotta set it on fire, I think. Somehow. Some way. Oh, yeah, I'm remembering all this now. Yeah, this is gonna be a fucking... This is gonna be hell, a hell of an area. All this is all gonna be a huge pain in the ass. In fact, we're getting into, like, a whole scenario that's gonna take a while, so we should probably... Uh, get to a save point and wrap this bad boy up. I don't remember what was up those stairs, though. I want to check that out real quick. Real quick, just slide into the DMs. FYI, I've never done that in my life. I don't slide into the DMs. I click the DMs. There's lots of stuff up here. Look at this. Look at these guys. There are a lot of robots up here, man. Holy shit. Oh, I'm gonna have to fucking... Oh, no, not that. Don't do that. Okay. Uh, they're dead. I can get over here safely. <laughs> Maybe I should not do that. Oh, come on, Kratos. Come on, dude. Like, why can I not keep this controller straight? For the life of me, it's not that hard. Even I will acknowledge it's not that difficult. I don't know why I'm making it this difficult. I don't know what this switch does. Maybe it's something I have to do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's something I have to do. I thought this was just like an extra area or something. Then again, that was kind of a dead giveaway once I saw the fact that there was, like, a lever over here. Like, if there's a lever, it's obviously part of, like, the game. It's not going to be some extra shit for you. I'm getting a phone call. I am definitely going to have to cut this short. Well, no, not short. It's actually 30 minutes. Wait, let me get to a save point, though. Don't fall, Kratos. Thank you.
Uh, didn't I come from that way? And now I'm stuck here? Am I stuck here? I'm stuck here. Is that what I'm- is that what I'm realizing right now? Fuck it, I'll figure it out later. Thank you all for watching this part of God of War, and I will see you all next- next part. Thank you.